Welcome to Min Fuel. This is day 31 of Archeon Month and it's New Year's Eve. So I hope you guys uh, have a great day, have a great evening, shoot some rockets and do some fun stuff. Um, I'm still working on Archeon. I've got a really cool update for you guys today. Uh, I've done a ton of small stuff, not so easy to see here. Uh, you'll see a slight change in the back here, uh, but we'll zoom in in a bit. Um, like New Year's Eve in Norway, we don't do, we don't have a lot of like long traditions for it. Um, we, you know, gather friends and family, eat dinner, shoot some rockets, scare all the kids, go home. Uh, but the last few years, uh, a few years ago, we changed the rules for how you can shoot rockets uh, like in a lot of countries you still have like the traditional rocket you know like uh, basically a cylinder on a stick that you stick in the ground or stick in a bottle and then you shoot it up uh, those are forbidden in Norway and you can't buy them anymore uh, because there are so many like eye injuries and other injuries related to these rockets because they're inherently unsafe uh, so they're forbidden you can buy what we call batteries, I'm not sure if that's the right term in English, uh, which is essentially just a box, and you put it on the ground, and you light the fuse, you walk away, and it just automatically shoots a bunch of not rockets, uh, and they're easily not as fun. Uh, so, honestly, New Year's Eve celebrations has kind of gone a bit down in Norway lately. It's just not as fun to shoot up safe boxes of light as it is to shoot something that actually looks and sounds and feels like a rocket, even though the rocket is way less safe. Uh, so there's your Norwegian fun fact for the evening. Uh, New Year's Eve kind of sucks. It's also very, very cold. Uh, there's snow everywhere and it's really really dark like super dark which is usually nice for like the fireworks um, but <laughs> in a lot of places in Norway winter is also terrible for storms and rain and all sorts of stuff like that so all in all not the best holiday you'll have in Norway anyways let's go and check out Archeon so, first up here is the wings. Uh, they've just had another layer of uh, Bugman's Glow. Uh, so they've been base coated Bugman's, shaded, and then had another layer. So that you start seeing uh, the texture of the wings here. Uh, like, I'm trying to go for a fleshy color, so we're probably going to like move a bit fleshier. Um, as we go out, I'm not sure if we want to go like skin color or uh, in a more like beastman like way. Uh, but I'm really liking this sort of color balance at the moment on the model as a whole. Uh, obviously, like the the finger things, which like in bats, these are actually the bat's fingers. Uh, I doubt it's fingers here, but you know that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, obviously aren't painted, that's going to wait until I'm completely done with the wings just so that I don't have to be super careful around all these because that's just a lot of work. Uh, and in things that have changed that you can see here, I've painted in all the little red bits. And we're going to go to the back and show you what that looks like. So this is Archeon's back as it stands right now. Um, as you can see, like it's been, it's looked really flat uh, prior to painting in all the red stuff. Uh, it was really like honestly a bit boring, but now that now that you have this uh, like red in the deep crevices here, uh, it's really bringing out the the bright color of the scales. Uh, obviously, uh, there's a lot more work to be done on the red because there's going to be a small orange line and then a small yellow line on every little one of these red ones. So that's going to be a bit time consuming, but it's also going to look really cool. It's going to bring out that sort of lava effect 
really well. Uh, you can also see there's a small like Stormcast head popping out here and the beginning of a bunch of skulls everywhere. Uh, so this is actually one of the more interesting like design aesthetics of new Games Workshop monsters is that they have all of these skulls just like popping out of the model. Uh, it's really unique and uh, I know a lot of people don't like these uh, just because they are really kind of weird and definitely not something that you would see on a natural monster. Um, but I think it's kind of cool because it really defines the fact that this is a demon and not a natural monster. Like the only other, or some of the other things that have this is like the Glotkin, I believe, have them, and the uh, the Corn Beast, and like stuff like that. So demons have these like skulls popping out of them, and. To me, that really defines them as a monster and not just a uh, ugly natural beast. Uh, so that's what the back look like, looks like right now. And we'll go back to the front of the tail and show just what that looks like as well. This video is already getting a bit long, so we're not going to tarry here a lot. But again, you can see that the skulls are starting to get painted in, uh, which is really starting to make this model work and all those parts that I were a bit like concerned about uh, are really sort of starting to pop now that all the detail is really starting to be filled in. You also get the skulls up in the chest. Uh, the chest piece here is also going to have like a lava theme and all the other little like red spots are being painted in as well. So uh, the last painting day of painting has really been about the detail work. I wish that I could have just surprised you guys with a finished Archeon uh, and popped them on the table. Unfortunately, that's not what I have, but he's really, like, I think the, the big moments of the model have now been painted in, and now it's just uh, doing the final highlight of the scales, which is probably the largest project still going on, finding out what I want to do with the wings, and once I have those two down, it's essentially just like detail work, lots and lots of detail work because it's a detailed and large and complex model, uh, but just a lot of detail that work that I can knock out in quick succession. So hopefully like the next videos uh, we'll see or I'll see uh, like I can I can knock out all right. Today I've painted all the skulls. Today I've painted all the fire or the lava thing. Oh, today I finished one of the heads or even all of the heads. Um, I or and then uh, what else? The tail, the claws, stuff like that, uh, because it's really moving towards that, moving in that direction, moving. It's going to move a lot quicker now than it has, uh, because I don't have to do eight layers of thin down paint anymore. Thankfully, uh, it looks cool, but it takes a lot of time. So that's my update for today, last update of the year, uh, but I've committed to putting out these videos until the model is done. So I hope you guys keep enjoying it and uh, have a happy New Year's, guys. Have a great time, uh, eat lots of good food and act responsibly. Don't shoot fireworks at anyone, really. That would be bad. And until next time, ha det bra, ha gott nytt år.